morning. So just like to give this vlogging thing another go for the Great Escape Festival. We're heading down there now, me and Joe. <laughs> um, we're going there for three days, so today, Thursday, until Saturday. Two days. Um, today is Thursday. Um, we just arrived at Victoria. I'm about to try and catch our train to Brighton. I've got the biggest pace in the world, which is really unnecessary actually, but it's got lots of important things in there. But yeah, we're about to catch the train. Joe is moody about spending £1.50 on a pastry. Airbnb for the the next three days. Um, it's raining quite a bit outside, so this, this is what I'm wearing. Um, hoping to change later. Hopefully, it's going to warm up. It's a bit weird, but it's like that. Have it like that now. Um, but we're going to go out for some lunch. We've got a whole list of recommendations, so we're really, really hungry and excited to find somewhere to eat. Um, and then, and then, and then, we just collect our passes and. Yeah, start planning out who we're going to see. Cause we've done a bit of research, but not not. Well, I think we're, we're all right. We're we all need right. to map it out a little we do bit. We need to map it out. Though. To be organised. To be organised. We need to be organised. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be a bit of like running about and like, oh, everyone's like capacity. But anyway, lunchtime. Here we come. Nice makeup bags, huh? Someone really uh, sassy and talented must have designed those. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Say Hannah, but I <coughs> <laughs> well, Hannah designed them, and look how amazing they are. Go and check them out too. Mags London. <laughs> Joe and I have come to Bill's for a quick lunch. <laughs> Just amazing looking salad, grilled halloumi. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gear. Who says gear anymore? Ooh. Ooh, Ralph Lauren. Just spotted this leopard print Calvin Klein jacket and I'm I'm quite taken by it. Hmm. In the changing room. Try it on. And it's quite cool where we've just come across in Brighton. They are taking over the world. And we're also, we're also fucking soaked. soaking. I I don't... Was, we thought it would be a good idea to bring an umbrella. I know, we were just like, it'll be fine. It won't be rainy. Like, I won't look like a drum rat come 4 p.m. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, I will. So, yeah, there's that. This is why I wear hats, guys. I've been like this for about three hours straight now. <laughs> Here's the spring. Come to one of my favourite shops in Brighton, which is Workshop. And they just do the most beautiful homeware ever. Lots of nice enamel, which I haven't actually seen. Mm, oh, that's a lovely soap. I'm smelling soaps. But yeah, I'm trying to not go mad and buy myself things for the house that I don't yet have. Oops. Joe is gone and to meet a friend for a drink, so I've just quickly charged up all my stuff. Shows how reliant I am on technology, which is a lot boring, but um, I'm about to go out now. Um, put the spray in this bun, and then I will take you along. And we've got some gigs scheduled in, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we get in. Hopefully. So we've just got home. Um, it was quite hard to. So let me just. <laughs> I bought some Nutella and Ribita. <laughs> Such a weird combination. And Joe got a subway because we've just got. I took the high road and went for a subway. Because <laughs> we've just got back and um, it was quite hard to vlog, obviously, when you're in a gig venue. And the first girl we saw, Flo Morrissey, was amazing. Like, absolutely, mm -hmm. unbelievably good. And it was in a church and it was so quiet you could have had a pin drop, so I didn't want to suddenly turn the beep of my camera on and be that guy that's like. <gasps> so I didn't. Um, film anything of hers, but I took lots of pictures, which would be up in a post. Um, 
Then we saw Soak, and she was amazing as well. Um, we didn't stay massively long because we had to go to see Shamir, who was amazing as well. So I'm, I'm doing a post about all my artists, all my artists, and I'm, I'm the agent. Um, all the bands and artists we've seen. Um, so I'll link that. I won't link that because I don't know. Maybe I'll link it if it's up. But we've just got back. Um, it's not even that late. It's like half ten. <laughs> We're acting like it's really late. It's really tired. It's really tired. I don't know. I can't talk. But yeah, I've got some of my feet and Nutella. Um, because we've really because we're staying in a room. Like, we haven't really got toast or anything. So it's like let's be creative. I'm not sure that's creative. <laughs> Well, you're using a fork as a knife. Yeah, I know. This is a, this peak peak of drama. Yeah, this is going to make a really nice flat lay for Instagram, guys. Um, but yeah, I thought, you, thought I'd kind of fool you, and I've got a little clip of Shamir, which I could put in now. <laughs> flash and yeah um, I'll continue vlogging tomorrow and hopefully it'll be a bit, bit busier a bit less wet and I'll be a bit less moany well, yeah, be a bit dry, so be a bit and easier. we're seeing Susie so ooh. Ooh, ooh. but yeah that should be really nice so yeah see you tomorrow bye, bye. good morning um, today we're up bright and early 9am 9am um, we're off to meet Susie and Josh for breakfast which will be really lovely we're going to Cafe Coho for some pancakes. Um, they do pancakes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why would I agree to going yeah, anywhere yeah. that doesn't do pancakes? <laughs> I don't even know that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, we're both dressed for the sun, not the temperature. Um, I'm wearing a very tropical dress, and Joe is just like George Michael, Circa Club Tropicana. With medallion and all. With a medallion, Saturday night fever meets <laughs> Club Tropicana, which is, which is an interesting one, but... I think, I think it's coming at home. Great one. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're doing that and it's definitely dried up today, which is very, very good news. And um, yeah, I'll take you along with us. Whoop. So we're in Cafe Coho and... Jo jo I can't believe you George today, it's like George Michael. What? <laughs> He's called you George again. Stop calling me George. <laughs> <laughs> um, George is a joke. <laughs> Joe's got bacon pancakes. I've got like a muesli health attempt. Uh, Susie has got these. Susie's got the health attempt on pancakes. <laughs> and Josh has got a sausage sandwich. Look who it is! Oh, it's Sassy Queen of Brighton. <laughs> I'm so excited. I like that title. <laughs> Sassy Queen. <laughs> Went in to Space NK and a place called 42 Juice which is amazing. Susie introduced me. I don't know what, and I got some courgette and some mulberries. God that makes me God, sound looks like well, <laughs> looks well appetizing from this angle. Mm -mm, mm. Jaunty. But yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> but yeah now we're just going to have a little mooch and take some outfit pictures. Mm. So we're in HM and I've picked up some really trendy things. And I've just found another really cool hat to add to my collection, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh yeah, it looks lovely. Look I think tree. I could do like a whimsical, like... I think it's really cool, but no one else will wear them, which is really weird. Can you think why? It says homey on it too. Is this embarrassing? I don't know. <laughs> Hello again, we've just come home. Um, we dropped some stuff. I've actually changed, as you can see, because I'm a mega diva. No, it's actually because I was a bit cold and I wanted to wear something that's going to kind of carry me through from day to night. Um, just so I wouldn't get too chilly later. So I've kind of layered up with this like denim pinafore dress and this and my jacket. And then we're going to go out and take some outfit pictures. This, this little one's going to take some pictures. And um, then we're going to go to our first gig, which is near the beach. And we're actually going to meet Susie again afterwards because the fun has not ended just yet. And then, yeah, I think we're going to go out for dinner after that, quite early, and mm -hmm. starting to waffle now, so I'm actually going to cut this curb off. Here are mine and Joe's ooh ooh titties. Um, have to do the, the sl slanty lean. Joe, what are you wearing? Tell us. Clothes? What do you mean? Clothes! I'm wearing clothes! clothes. You've got a 
you got to tell the people what they want to hear. Spin the yarn. Spin the yarn. Tell them where it's from. It's a Percival shirt, Zara trousers, and a Top Man medallion. Oh slick. God. He's so slick. And I'm wearing a Topshop top, Topshop top dress. Mm, that's it. I'm gonna some... Fascinating. <laughs> oh, cool story, bro. And I'm going to wear some, some boot, booties. Booties. Should we get going? Otherwise, yes, we're going to be doing this we are, forever. We, we, well, we are already late. Cool. cool. Always good to know. <laughs> Outside the window. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's my biggest fan. <laughs> so I've just found the house of my dreams next to a house for sale. It's where Barbie lives. Fate. I think not. <laughs> so we have come to the flower pot for a quick, I was going to say 11 seeds, but it's more like, it's like 4 o'clock. 4 30 seeds. Supper, tea, supper, tea, supper. I don't know, something, something like that, but I've gone for a mint tea, which just looks like normal tea. And Susie's so, being a pig. Look, look at her, look at her, get, trying to get this, all the sugar out, all the sugar out. No, I'm joking. No, and Joe's got a fizzy pop, because I am 80 years old. <laughs> How pretty is it though? So we've just shot some for pictures. We had something to eat at the flower at the flower pot. Yeah. Flower pot. Flower pot bakery. The flower pot. And I'm now saying goodbye to Susie. And I've been really excited about this moment because I've never filmed saying goodbye to someone before, and I know that people do it really well. There's a lot of pressure. I was going to get some other cameras, get some good angles on this, but thanks, Susie. It's been great. Thanks for having me. Let's hug. Oh, look at the back row. <laughs> look at the back of my head. <laughs> Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> it was great seeing you, Susie. Let's hang out again soon. Yeah, bye. Bye. Come to Lucky Beach for a burger before we start watching some bands. <laughs> Joe's got a beef burger and I've got honey meat and pepper and all sorts. So yeah, really excited about this. Also gluten-free bun, which is also very good because they're, they're quite hard to come by, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so we've just come out of Lucky Beach and we had the most amazing burgers I ordered. I think I said what I ordered, I won't repeat that. Um, it was amazing. I like vegetarian burgers and they've actually got vegetables and cheese and things in them and not just like a patty. So that was really, really, really good. And um, Joe, how was your burger? How did you rate it? That yeah, was good, no. It's always, it's always nice to have a brioche bun. Always nice. Added bonus. But um, yeah, I've really nice. my sunglasses on, even though it's not sunny, so I don't know if I've ever but my makeup is So I put these on so I don't look too mad. I'm trying again because, you know, I like being challenged on a vlog. <laughs> so we decided to just, you know, start crossing, start doing all these weird routes, you know. Finding this thing quite challenging, so it's, why not challenge me more, boy? What, by crossing a road? Yeah, but not when I've got a camera in my face. That's irresponsible. <laughs> I'm learning to drive. I've, and... I've been on that exact road taking photos of you <laughs> Sorry, well, that's the, in the, the middle of the road. The thing is, I've never... Risking my life. Well, I'm learning to drive, so I appreciate how annoying it is when someone's cross, when crossing irresponsibly. So it's important to be careful. I know I look like a real penis because people are looking. This is what people like struggle with when people look at them, and I've just felt that intense feeling of humiliation that I'm filming myself in public. Anyway, I thought I'd try and end this vlog for today because... I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna get. We're gonna be partying. We're gonna be partying really parties. hard, and I know how much you, you're gonna love the whole Rivita thing. So I thought, oh, it's spoil you by doing it twice. Oh, God, everything is going on. God, <laughs> it's oh, Anyway, that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna say goodbye, and hopefully, and then this might be my last clip for tonight. Hopefully. No. <laughs> Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> we'll have to get this damn Fingers camera out no again. more content out. No, well, hopefully there might be some clips inserted now from, well, in a minute, from some of the gigs from this evening. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. bye, bye, bye. is even more than anyone that you adore can love. Sorry, I had to film that. It's just like a barber shop with a man singing outside. Good morning, it's Saturday. 
Morning. Happy morning, Saturday. Morning. Um, we have just left our, um, our little place and we're going up some brunch because it's such a beautiful day. How has it only just brightened up and been this warm? No, oh, oh, it's so annoying. So typical. But yeah, we're going Where are we some... going? Is it this way or...? Oh, I don't know. If There's a lot of people way. down here, but okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. We need to get used to these things. But we're about to go for some breakfast. Um, hopefully we can sit outside because it's so mild and lovely. Um, but yeah, we had a really good time last night. Um, we saw... Who did we see? We see... We see... We see... We see, we see we saw Beach Baby, who were amazing. Yeah, They're really, really cool. Kind of like, uh, I think the, name, the clue's kind of in the name with them, isn't it? Surf, surf, surf kind rock. of rock, kind mm. of a swim deep. We've seen a real combination vibe. of bands. Yeah, it's been a real kind of mix. mix. Um, and then, then we kind of we walked about. I think with the Great Escape, it's sometimes quite hard to see everyone you want to see because venues get to capacity really quickly, which is understandable, but then we went... We across the road? Yeah, let's cross the road. so many people. Um, we hung about, and then we saw slaves, and they were the kind of act that we really, really wanted to see. And I'm so, so glad we, like, we waited for them, because they were probably the highlight of the weekend, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They yeah. were amazing. Um, if you haven't listened to them before, I've got a clip which I'll pop in now. <laughs> That's going to be quite a, quite quite a shift from this yeah, quite loud quite first Saturday thing, morning first to thing that. But no, they're amazing. Definitely listen to them. Um, we found out they actually live really near to us, where we live at home. Um, and that was quite exciting, because no one ever, come, no one ever comes from where we come from. Come from our apartments. But um, no, that was exciting. And yeah, we're about to have some breakfast, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we've come to Monge 2 for breakfast. I've got granola with some drippy juice. We're on a, we're on a table on a hill. Very drippy juice. <laughs> and Joe's gone for a kind of partially full English, so not full. Um, which looks amazing and yeah how exciting is this just gramming <laughs> Thank you. 